newest model of watch. It is made locally with the materials used by my family for 50 years, but it uses quartz kinetics technology to make it even more efficient. Hmm, interesting, what is that? This watch uses the movement of the wearer to power itself up without having to use a single battery. What do you think? It's, it's a beautiful watch. Mm, I'm just browsing today, so are you open tomorrow? Of course. Buying a quality watch is an important decision, so take your time. Thank you. Sit down. What can I do for you? I'm wondering if you can help me with something. Recently, I've seen people in the street wearing these watches, and so I, I went to investigate and I bought I bought one, and uh, I found out that they're uh, made by this company called Digicon, which uh, is specifically known for making these uh, digital watches. The problem with these watches is they're mysteriously cheap. They sell them for $3.99, whereas my watches I sell them for $50, and half of that price is uh, put directly into the making of the watch. I can't see how they can afford to sell these so cheaply. Huh. These are the new digital watches that everyone is wearing. You can obviously see the difference between the two. Mine is made from some of the finest quality materials, and this thing is just a plastic piece of junk you wear on your wrist. Well, I can see the difference, sir, but my question to you is, what do you want me to do? You coming in here with some watches doesn't explain why you request my services. You see, Detective, I need you to look into the company that's making these watches. You're kidding me, right? You want me to investigate a new watch company just because of how they make the products and how they sell it? I know it sounds stupid, but I seriously believe this company is up to something. I mean, look at what their watch is made of, and look at the back. It's sealed, so you can't repair it, and uh, it says, opening this product will void warranty. I mean, doesn't that make you curious about uh, what this company does and uh, what they're up to? Look, I'm sorry that you're losing business, but I'm a detective. And I'm only used for things that suit my occupation, like, you know, crimes. And this, my friend, is not a crime, so I can't help you. Ugh, then you keep this. It's not like I need that garbage anyway. Oh, hello, sir. How can I help you today? I'd like to replace this watch. It's broken. Okay, let me see that. Oh, well, sir, you're in luck. You only bought this watch a month ago, and it says here that you have a three-month warranty, which means I can get you another one for free. Here you go, sir. Here's your brand new watch. You have a hard package to open, huh? Here you go. Let me help you with that. There you go. You have a nice day, sir. Hey, 
Hey, where have you been? I've stepped into the future, my friend, and bought myself this new watch. What? Why would you buy a new watch? I mean, don't you have one already? But that watch is before. This watch is now. It has so many cool features and everyone's getting it. Well, yeah, but your old watch worked perfectly fine, like mine. I know it's been years since I bought it, but it still works, just as good as it did out of the box. What are you, a grandpa? Just get this new watch. It's only $3.99. Seriously? Well, forget this one. I want a new watch too. Can I help you? Yeah, do you work out here all the time? Yep. So you see most of the stuff that comes through here? Just about. Have you seen a lot of electronics coming through lately, like, say, watches? Now that you mention it, yeah, I've seen a lot of electronics coming through here. Mostly phones, TVs, watches. Come from that uh, Digicon electronics store. They even set up a distribution center not six months ago. Hmm, what is it that you guys do with all those products? Well, they're mostly made of plastic and some of them just end up sitting in the landfill forever. A lot of people throw away the products with the batteries still inside and they leak a bunch of toxic acid. Honestly, it's a bit of a problem for us. Not sure what we're going to do if more of these kinds of products keep coming in here. Now and again, we go through them and salvage some of the stuff to send overseas. Do you know where they send them? Can't tell you that, my friend, but uh, here's an organization that can. Thank you. Hello, this is Vic Pitten, and I was hoping you'd help me answer a few questions. I was wondering where the electronic waste from Lakeview Landfill is shipped to, and what is done with it once it gets there. Uh-huh, okay. Asia and Africa, you say? And what do they do with it there? Wow, okay. Yes, I didn't know about any of this. Can you send me the report to my office at 345 Elm Street, Suite 5? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Hi, is this Digicon distribution facility? Okay, this is Detective Vic Pidden and I wanted to make an appointment for an interview with one of your employees. Hi, you must be Detective Vic. Um, my name is Samantha. Uh, what can I do for you? So I have a question about the materials that are used in making your washes. Do you have a list of suppliers I could see? Yes, um, I'm going to have to check with my supervisor. Could you wait here a second? Sorry, um, my supervisor has told me that that is confidential information. Are there any other questions I can answer for you? No, thank you. I think I've got all the information I need. Hey, Paul. This is Detective Vic. I looked more to that watch company you were curious about, and I found some interesting evidence that you should take a look at. There you are. Glad you're here. Take a look at this. What am I looking at exactly? The truth. You see, the watch you left me broke. In returning it, I discovered that indeed they do not repair the watch. They just throw it away along with piles of other electronics. This led me to the landfill. There, I found increasing amounts of electronics being thrown away after only a few months of use. Some of these items have actually broken. Others were completely fine, but thrown away because of perceived obsolescence. I bought myself this new watch. Many of these discarded items leached chemicals into groundwater and surrounding environment. They were also shipped overseas to slum areas in Asia and Africa, 
where people, even children, burn their plastic to find parts that can be resold. This pollutes their local water supply. That's terrible. Why wouldn't they just fix the watch? I was wondering the same thing. So I went to the distribution facility. There, I found multiple design plans for the watch that show decreasing amounts of quality and design and durability in materials. The cheaper materials will lessen the usable lifespan of the watch. The watch interior will be sealed and parts will not be available in the US, which will ensure the purchase of replacement watches. So they're purposely designing the watches to break. This is why more and more products are being made outside of the country. It's just cheaper. And people today just want more things cheaper. Even with these low quality materials, they shouldn't be able to sell these at such a low price. It's just not right. What's wrong with people today? Don't they know this stuff is just meant to break? Doesn't anyone care about quality anymore? Wait a minute. I have an idea. Maybe this can be done differently. And better. What do you mean? Look here. We can salvage some of the raw materials from the landfill and use them to make new watches and create a closed-loop system. 